About a couple of days ago, I made a video called Coming Clean Part 1. Today, I'm going to be doing Coming, Coming Clean Part 2. So, in Coming Clean, I want to further talk about Kiana Palmer and Jim Penny, a.k.a. James Penny III, and how they have been casting their burdens upon me and my children. And yes, in the last video, I talked about how this woman has been casting her burdens upon me and how I've been led into sin because she's been putting her perverse spirits upon me. She's literally been attaching herself, affixing, affixing herself to my soul. The Lord let me know she was doing this. She was jumping in and out of my body, uh, forming soul ties, using my pictures and my videos and everything to, to form and, and, and to morph my features and, and change everything. You can see this eye over here all big. You know, every day I wake up with my eyes changing shapes, my nose, my lips. She's even taking the shape of my lips and all this. My skin used to be so vibrant and healthy looking and glowing. She would change my, my skin. It would get all dull and dark and I have all this acne all over me. So I want to tell you about how she's been jumping in and out of my body. Now, I showed you in the last video how I was doing things that she was doing. Now, I want to talk about how she has been controlling me. When I've been wanting to make a video, I, I first was going to expose her. Back in, this was about 2021, I had made a video. I think it was April 2021. Now, I first made this video at night where I was going to expose her. And for some reason, I didn't post that video. But then the next day, I made a, the video that I ended up coming out with, Expose My Stubborn Pursuers. And I'm going to show you a synopsis of this first video that I was going to make. This is the one where me talking. This first video was me talking. You can, you'll, in this video, you'll see it. I'm going to post it here. Hello. Today, I'm going to be doing a discussion called Stealing from God's Anointed. I am exposing people who've been stealing from me in particular. And there are many people out here who take the gifts of people who belong to God you don't even have to belong to God. If you don't know and you're not aware of what's going on and there are envious people out here who want your gifts, your talents, your beauty, things that belong to you, they're going to steal from you. So today I'm exposing a woman called Kiana L. Palmer. She was recently drawn to my attention. Probably within the past few months, the Lord was showing me. I don't know how I just happened to come across her page. And the Lord was showing me. I saw certain things and he was showing me to start praying for myself that she was stealing things from me stealing particularly my complexion. I I looked all over the woman's page. I looked at her pictures and everything. Her name is Kiana L. Palmer. I looked on her Facebook page. She has another page called Mocha Mama. She goes by different, you know, monikers or whatever. Now the Lord brought her to my attention because she actually lived in Harrisburg. I crossed her path one time. I didn't even know her. I don't know the woman at all. Never introduced myself to her. Never met her in person, but apparently she's seen me. And when I was living in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, a lot of people have done some evil things to me. And this woman is some type of acquaintance and connection to another man who had been harassing me and doing things to me by the name of James Franklin Penny, the third. Okay, so you saw how I talked in that video on how I look. I didn't post that video. That was the original video with me speaking. For some reason, I didn't post that video, but I'm going to show you the next video that ended up getting posted. Here it is. Hey. Thanks for tuning in. I have a video today called Exposing My Stubborn Pursuers. Um, if many of you have been following me, you know that I've been dealing a lot with a lot of things that's been going on with people attacking me using sorcery and witchcraft. And the Holy Spirit has revealed a lot to me recently about some stubborn pursuers. I'm going to first start with a woman by the name of Kiana Palmer. I don't know her. I never ran across her at all. She actually lived in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania for a while, and that's when she actually, I believe, she actually was exposed to me. But she's been attacking me probably longer than that because she's affiliated with a man by the name of James Franklin Penny III, but he goes by Jim Penny. They're friends on Facebook, and this man has been a stubborn pursuer in my life for several years, even before I moved to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Now, as you see in that video, you see what the way I talk, my communication was completely different. I even looked different. That was Kiana controlling me. The first video was the video that was supposed to been posted because it talked about all this stuff. But she ended up affecting me by jumping inside me. This is how she's been messing up my ministry. She's been jumping in and out of me, controlling me, uh, getting in the way of me, posting things, getting away my ministry, doing things through me. She's been doing it all along. The Lord just now showing me all of this stuff. She's not only been doing it to me, but she's been doing it to my daughter. My you know, my little 16-year-old daughter, Cherry. she's been causing her to do things too. I first noticed 
my daughter was wearing hats all the time when we were in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This one was attaching herself to my family when we were in Harrisburg. I used to always smell this scent coming around me it was around about maybe 2019, right before we were leaving there, after we had already been there for nearly three years. We had been there for three years. All of a sudden, when I would be in my house, I would smell this smell of a, the scent of a woman's genitalia. And it was always around me. And I'm like, what is that smell? I didn't know what it was then. But as I come back here to this house years later, I've known it. The Lord was let me know that was her astral projecting out of her body. She had been following me around then, even in the spiritual realm. And so I noticed my daughter during that time, she was getting very depressed. Like she didn't want to wash up. She would just lay around. And she started wearing this hat over her head all the time. It wasn't just like a hat that she wore to accentuate her outfits. She was wearing this hat over her head every day like she was sh in shame, covering her head with this hat. And my daughter never wore hats before. She never asked me to buy her a hat. She never wore hats. And as you can see now, even when she got into foster care, she's wearing this hat all the time. I'll show you these pictures. Look at these hats that she's wearing. She's even wearing hats with the name, her nickname on there, uh, Chuck Red and Mac. And she has a hat every time I was noticing that she had this hat on her head all the time. She was always telling me she's feeling depressed and down. And so I realized because the Lord started opening my eyes. As you look at these pictures, Kiana Palmer was always wearing hats in her earlier phases. She was wearing hats. She, she looked all scraggly. You see how she looked in these hats, wearing these hats all the time, covering up herself. It's like she had a, a, a complex where she was covering up her entire identity. And this is where you see where people are insecure or they have this mental illness where they want to, they don't want to be the themselves. It's like she was not sure of herself or she didn't like her identity and she was covering herself with a hat. Now you don't really see her wearing the hat anymore because she has cast those burdens upon my daughter. She was also casting her burdens upon me years ago. I would look back on old picture and I see myself, you know, wearing this knit cap on my head all the time. Even when I was outside in the hot summer sun walking around and exercising, I'd wear it all over the house. That's because this woman was putting all of her burdens upon me. My daughter now is completely out of shape. She is blown up. She is obese, morbidly obese. She now has diabetes. Her skin is completely dark and she has eczema all over her face. The same thing that I had. Kiana says, oh, she doesn't have eczema. She's casting her burns on me and my children all at the same time. When we left uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, we started in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, but when we got back home and went back to Ohio around 2020, that's when I really started seeing all these significant changes. And me and my children at the same time, all of our skin gotten really dark. We had all this acne and all this, these blemishes and, and, and messed up skin. And, you know, we were gaining weight. And this woman had been casting her burdens, her mental illnesses upon me and my children. I knew there was something wrong with her. As you see, she says she conceals her identity behind glasses and proper speech, but she's concealing her identity behind me and my children. So I guess I'll be on this here Snapchat acting a fool. Yeah. <laughs> of my own. And any man out there got to feel me. It ain't about milking off the next man. That's a motherfucking hoe. I'm a motherfucking pimp. I'm finna come up on my own. I'm gonna get my own sack. I don't wanna be nobody worker all my life. I want my own motherfucking kilo. You understand me? So that's what I did. And Shaka Hustler, and I'm a hustler, so everybody understand it. Ain't no one man gonna stay in one spot forever. That's a sucker. I'm a hustler. I'm gonna come up. So I took what little bit he gave me and doubled up and doubled up and doubled up, and I've been doubling six. What is your plan B if nobody marries you? Eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and fat. Mm. The reason why I'm exposing this is because God has allowed this stuff to happen. I lost my entire ministry because this woman has been taking over my entire life every day. She's still to this day. This has been going on for many years. I told you she has just been following me around the spiritual realm of fixing herself to my soul, calls me to do things. She's also been doing the same thing to my daughter. They want to say my daughter's schizophrenic and bipolar. No, that's Kiana Palmer who is sitting inside of her. And when you wonder why they say my daughter's making accusations, and I don't believe my daughter is making any accusations. I do believe that she has been getting into, she's been physically assaulted. But if she's been having problems with her foster mother and acting out, maybe that's why. Because Kiana keeps jumping in and out of her and controlling her. And this is why everybody's going to be getting judged. Because you watched a woman, a mentally ill, unstable 40-year-old woman, cast her burdens upon my children, teenage children. These are children. This woman has went down the entire family. She has started with me. She's messed with my mother. She's cast her burdens upon all three of my daughters and my son. Now she's casting her burdens upon my grandson. Like I told you, he's been getting fat all over him. His toys were coming up missing. Every day I could pick him up. One minute he feels light like himself. Next minute he feels heavy as what? This woman has been literally casting her burns upon children, a baby. And, and this is sick. 
because she did not get the help she needed because she is mentally ill. She lays in a bed in a stupor all the time, suffering from depression. But instead of going to God to get help or going somewhere to get some medication and get the help that you need, you will cast your burdens for my children and God has let you. But he has allowed you to do this because now he's going to be judging you and everybody in your family. We tried to pray for you. You did not want the prayer. And this is why I'm exposing everything now because my daughter has suffered. My daughter had gone from being an outgoing, vibrant girl who had many friends and was always loving her family to being very quiet and withdrawn and didn't want to be around anyone. And I didn't notice it until God started showing me pictures of her. And I started seeing then that Kiana was in her all along. And he was showing me how she's putting her burdens upon her. As you can see in this photo, my daughter, one eye is bigger than the other. She wasn't born looking like that. Her skin started getting darker. She was getting bumps on her face. Her hair texture had changed a lot. And this was going on. Kiana was sitting in her, taking her, casting her burdens upon her, just like she's doing to me and my son. It's sad that this woman had a complex about herself. She didn't like how big and dark that she was. She didn't like her hair. So she started taking on my daughter's physical features, her hair, her DNA. She started looking like my daughter. My daughter started getting darker. She, you see, she's gaining all this weight. Even then, back then, I didn't know what was going on back then. But the Lord showed me all these pictures. He led me back to all these older pictures. And I saw her there. My daughter's hair texture was changing. Her skin color was changing. And, you know, this is my daughter when she first went to foster care and, you know, she was, you know, had a nice fair skin complexion. She, you know, was always a beautiful girl, always had beautiful hair. And, you know, after her spending time in foster care, I, I noticed that my daughter started getting dark circles around her eyes. She was gaining all of this weight and the weight just kept coming on. And, she, you know, this is reminiscent of, you know, Kiana was putting her burdens upon her. Just like she was putting her burdens upon me. My daughter started dressing and, you know, baggy clothes. You can see Kiana Palmer didn't like how she used to dress as a butch. She had a problem with, you know, being masculine. And she was putting her perverse spirits on my daughter like she was doing to me. And my daughter started dressing in nothing but sweatshirts and dressing more like a boy. You have made innocent children suffer. And this is what I'm talking about. Not only that, Kiana Palmer knows Jim Penny, a.k.a. James Penny. This man has destroyed everything about my life out of his own inferiority and insecurities. I was an ambitious woman who made no excuses. I don't like to boast, but I was the type of person that I could put my mind to something and I would do it. I would not stop until I get it, got it achieved. I didn't make excuses. If I had to get up at three or four or five in the morning to do something, best believe I would do it. Nothing stopped me. When I said I wanted to lose 100 pounds, I did it. When I said I wanted to write a book, I did it. When I had to get a job and I had no car to get to work and the bus didn't go that way, I caught three buses to get to work and I walked two miles in the snow. I did that for two months until I was able to buy a car. I let nothing stand in the way. I, didn't, I was the type of person that did not make excuses. That man destroyed everything about me. He broke me down. He cut into my feet so that I could not run anymore. He, he messed up my knees. He, he took my DNA. He put fat upon me. He stole all of the knowledge out of my brain, helped another woman, all his people. He has passed all my knowledge and my skills and talents amongst his entire coven. He attacked me on jobs so that I cannot make my own money, so that I cannot be independent because I was always independent and made my own money and worked for whatever I wanted. I didn't have to kiss anybody's behind or ask anybody for anything. He broke and destroyed all my vehicles, caused me to lose my home, caused me to lose my children. Now I walk around in shame. I was an intelligent, outgoing woman who, who, who wrote books, started businesses and everything, but now I've been resorted to living on welfare. Living in a Section 8 low-income housing, walking around obese, catching the bus everywhere. At 42 years old, I have nothing to show for it. And I had to walk around in shame because these people have cast their burdens upon me. And I go to God about it because you know what? Justice, this is what I want, to be avenged of all my adversaries because of his inferiority. He did all these things. He did not want me. He stopped the husband that was supposed to be in my life. He stopped other men from coming to me because he did not want me. And these people have cast all their perverse spirits upon me to destroy me, to destroy everything God had made about me and created me to be. You stole everything out of me. You stole my DNA. You stole my talents and my gifts. And this is why I'm bringing this here. Yes, I've fallen into sin. But you know what? I am not ashamed to admit all of that because I didn't do this to myself. These people done all of these things to me. As you can see, this woman still morphs in, in and out of me. You look at my eyes. Every day she's jumping in and out of my body. Because she didn't like herself and she's not comfortable with her own body and everything in it. But she can get on the internet and clown everybody's talking about them, how mentally ill they are, how weird they are, how they stalk you. But you're literally jumping inside a person's body every single day. And you really think that's normal? You don't think that there's something wrong with you, that you're not strange? You can. It's funny how you can tell everybody else what's wrong with them and what they need to do about themselves. But you don't see the problem that you have. And this is why God's going to be judging. See, I, I, this is not a ministry. 
This is not a ministry jumping in my body. Every day this woman takes my skin. I have vibrant, glowing, healthy skin. But when she jumps inside of me, my skin gets real dark and dull. And I get acne all over myself, changing and morphing my features, morphing everything about me, taking the shape of my lips, my jaw bones, and my cheekbones, my bone structure. I, 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 I don't know. But this is what they have done. This is what I, they have I've been resorted to. And I have to be humiliated because I feel bad about myself. But I, I don't have to feel bad anymore because, you know, I did everything in my power. And God allowed these people to do this, but now it's time for judgment. He said, vengeance is his, he shall repay. And I'm asking him every day for judgment. I want justice for everything that was done. Everything you all have done to destroy me and to destroy my children. I want justice for all of it.